Okay, so someone gave me this tap out hoodie and like, it's fine. It's got some damage to it. The sleeves are really bad. I don't think they're savable at all. So we're going to do something else with it because I still like the overall look of it, but we can do better. I recently saw Blueprint DIY do something pretty similar to a sweatshirt that she had and she's amazing and you should follow her. So I decided to try that out. You guys know I don't usually come in with a plan. So I cut off each sleeve in a semi triangular fashion, just a little bit on a slope. And that got rid of those big problem areas that I was having. Next step, and I left all of this in, this is my husband literally teaching me how to put grommets in because it is very, very easy. You lay out something soft, punch a hole in where you want the grommet to go. I wanted these to be even, so I just left it folded so it punched through both sides. On fabric, it's not that hard to get it through, so punch, punch, punch. And then you have the holes where you want them. Probably should have measured this. It's fine. It worked out. I just eyesighted it. And this is my first time doing this ever. You can see it is not too complicated. Just a couple accessories and I'm completely ready to go. So now I have my holes punched on one side. So you take your grommets and put out the side that you want, whatever side you want facing out, you put that out, put the little ring on, and then use the punch to place the grommet in. And there it is, completely done. And this entire process, I sped it up so I wouldn't completely bore you guys. This entire process was about 10 minutes. It was not complicated. Um, you can get probably everything that I'm using here in this video for about $20. And this is such a simple technique, but it adds so much style. So I really recommend just getting little hammer, little grommet pieces, the whole punch that I'm using there, and the little sloped piece that I'm using right now, really inexpensive. You can buy them at any craft store. So I completed this on one side of the shirt and then flipped it over and did the other side exactly the same. So I have four little loops in each side. And with that done on both sides, I grabbed a piece of chain that I had around the house. This is actually from an old necklace and strung it together. So this side, I put the chain through the inside. The other side I'll show you, I put the chain in through the outside just to see how it would look. I actually preferred the first way that I did it, so I ended up switching them, but that's it. That is the whole project, and you'll see in a second, once that's done, you have a completely new shirt with some really cool attitude. So this is it, finished product. And I think it keeps the original attitude, the feel. It's a little bit emo, a little bit edgy. And here it is on a real person. Now that real person is me. So you can see I'm giving absolute model attitude. I clearly have no idea what I'm doing, but it cinches just a little bit. And I think it's a really cool piece and it's really easy to do. I hope you guys try it. Save some pieces. Bye.